Aquaman made his first appearance in Justice League, but his solo movie directed by James Wan in 2018 was a massive hit both financially and critically. The movie delved into Arthur Curie's backstory and claim to the throne of Atlantis in fascinating detail. My brother has come from the surface to challenge me for the throne. However, Aquaman and the Last Kingdom has faced its fair share of setbacks, including DCU upheaval, release delays, and a lawsuit involving one of its stars. And with solo movies for Superman, Ben Affleck's Batman, and Cyborg non-existent Wonder Woman 3 cancelled, and The Flash's lead star embroiled in controversy Jason Momoa's Aquaman is now seen as a primary key to the future of the DCU. In this video, we'll be diving into the most important updates about Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, from the cast to story beats. So make sure you stick around until the end. Initially, Aquaman 2's working title was Nicarus. It's a reference to a dark underwater city ruled by a tyrant seeking domination over the surface world, which could potentially be the Lost Kingdom mentioned in the movie's synopsis. Aquaman and his former rival Arm will team up in an uneasy alliance to protect Atlantis and the world from devastation. While Black Manta seeks revenge against Aquaman, the movie will have a more mature story arc and will tackle issues related to the environment and the climate crisis. However, it will still have plenty of humor, according to both director James Wan and titular character James Mamoa. James Wan has returned to direct this sequel while the first movie's co-writer, David Leslie Joseph McGoldrick, has written the script once again. The movie is being produced by Wan and Peter Safran, who has now taken on the role of co-head of DC Studios. In Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the vast majority of the original cast from the 2018 movie is set to return. Jason Momoa, who leads the franchise as Arthur Curry, as known as Aquaman, will be joined by Patrick Wilson as Arm, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as Black Manta, Amber Heard as Mara, Dolph Lundgren as King Nerus, Randall Park as Dr. Shin, and Tamura Morrison as Thomas Curie. Moreover, Willem Dafoe's Wilco and Nicole Kidman's Atlanta are expected to feature, adding even more familiar faces to the ensemble cast. Notably, Vincent Regan has been cast as King Atlan, a role previously held by Graham McTavish. Additionally, Ben Affleck will make a return appearance as Batman, which has been teased by Jason Momoa himself, causing much excitement among fans. Originally scheduled to hit theaters in December 2022, it was later pushed to 17th March 2023 as part of a larger reshuffle in the DC Universe. However, we recently learned that the release date has been delayed again and the new confirmed release date for Aquaman 2 is 25th December 2023. The reason for this delay is reportedly due to the need for more post-production VFX processing time. For more updates on this, subscribe to this Cineflix News.